This video is sponsored by Aura. More on them at the end of the video. Just waiting on the owner to show up so they can ride on the boat. They're just taking us over to 10th Street, so nice easy tow. But we do require someone to be on the boat, as you guys should know by now from my other videos. Give this guy a quick call, see how far out he is. Straight to voicemail. Oh, we'll see you guys when he gets back. Two thousand years later. No problem. Should I undo my bow line? Yep, you can undo all your dock lines and then hop on. Engines are underwater. These guys are trying to tell me. Oh, they'll be fine. I checked the oil. Yeah. <laughs> How badly were they under? Uh, that much was showing. Ooh. Oh, there's no salt in there. Okay. No, they won't really know till they start taking things apart. Yeah. But. Well, they won't start. So, innovation says the module will hit the water. Of course they won't start. Yeah. That's thing, is it just electrical that's wrong with it, or does it have mechanical stuff that's wrong? That they won't know till they get a hold of it and start looking. Innovation is excellent, though. Oh yeah, definitely. You're just gonna have to teach me what to do. Well, there's really not much for you to do. I'll put on a life preserver because I don't got my ditch kit. Yeah, hey, you don't need to. If you want one, you can, but. Okay, but my life's in your hands. That's not the first time you've heard that, is it? Nope. <laughs> How the hell are we gonna get through that little canal? Oh, I'm gonna switch to a stern tow, but just get you off the dock first. You have a busy day today? Yeah, it's 2 o'clock, 10th Street Docks. What's your ETA? What would you guess? Uh, let me get spun around here and then I'll give you an ETA. 's boat we get paid just to run them One job oh yeah you must have had some crazy fucking experience. it's been 
definitely crazy the last week. Even before this, I'm going up Yeah, for the most part, it's not too bad. And occasionally we'll get stuck in like bad weather, but. What's that shit like for you? You get soaked, don't you? Oh, yeah. We had a storm probably about a month ago. Remember that really bad thunderstorm where we right. got all that rain? Yep. We uh, ran up to the Manti River to go do a job up there. And coming back, you could see the storm building over uh, Sarasota Bay. Right. And we get maybe like a half mile or so north of the Ringling Bridge, and it just opens up. The wind's blowing sideways, it's gusting probably about 60, 70 knots. You can only see like 20 feet in front of the boat and just pelted. It, myself and I had a mate that day. We we're just trying to hide behind this as much cover as we can. We're still getting soaked. What's the furthest you've gone out? The uh, furthest I've gone out is 80 miles. That's a hell of a long drive. Yeah. Was it three hours? Uh, it was actually a really rough day. I had a Four hours? I think it took me about four and a half hours to get out to them. Craziest thing was, they were in a single engine, like 22 foot boat. Why, why the stupidity? I don't know, the craziest thing about that was, is they had a, I think they said they had like a 36 foot uh, cat boat of some sort. And they decided to take the little boat that day for whatever reason. What was that? Oh yeah, we love them. We've had really good luck with them. That's all we've been running on these boats, so. Uh, four stroke, yeah. We got an old uh, Boston Whaler Outrage, uh, 26 foot I think. We've got the old uh, two strokes on that. Only downside to those, I mean, they're really good engines, but they started smoking really bad recently. Why steer at all? There's no steering, right? No, pretty much as long as your engines are pretty straight, we'll be fine. Well, we'll see you guys when we get to 10th Street. A little bit of a storm coming in.
What was that? A couple times. This camera. For you? Yeah, for liability. Thank you. Yeah, Want to give them a call, see if they're at the dock waiting for us? I didn't give you the number of the guy who's picking it up. I'll tell you the second is yeah. I told, I called, updated them to three. What was that? I updated them to three. Okay. So I'm sure they're there. What was that? Competition. Nice guys though. I would just pick one of the dots on the right side. There's them floating in. I think. See that? Yeah, that's the black shirt seal. Yep. They usually remember to get the boat up there, the trailer on the correct side, too. Yep. I gotta watch the trolls, okay? Yeah, okay. Okay, come back. Can you come more your side? Yeah, a little bit more this way. Okay. Grab the yellow lines off the front. Yeah. 
Okay, let's left it. Almost made it. <laughs> Sponsor time. Nowadays, it's pretty easy to do a quick Google search for a name and find out quite a lot of info about someone. It's scary how much of my personal information is accessible, especially since I would consider myself pretty limited in the personal data I put out there. However, data brokers collect and then sell your information to scammers, spammers, advertisers, and anyone else who may want to target you. Your full name, cell phone, email, home address, health records, your relatives, it's all out there and easy to find. That's why I've started using Aura, the sponsor of today's video. Aura shows me which data brokers are selling my information and automatically submits opt-out requests for me. Cleaning up my information not only helps reduce the amount of spam I get, but protects me from hackers who could use this information to help them access my social media accounts, bank accounts, or other sensitive information. Aura does this all for me. And best of all, I don't have to download several different apps just because the company couldn't keep my data secure. To help you secure your data, Aura is offering my viewers a 14-day free trial at my special link down in the description at aura.com fgcms. Now back to the video and what I do best. You're so close to staying dry. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one.